Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'll be installing Run Tippy on Proxmox Ubuntu. So, uh, I'm, I'm going to uh, go over installing everything, uh, just as is, explain, it, explain everything, what's happening, and also install Ubuntu from scratch on an LXC. So, um, a little bit about this series, I'm going over Home Labs, I'm going to install things, get things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. So this video was suggested by a tour on a Big Bear community and it was suggested by a viewer on YouTube. So um, thank you to those uh, who suggest video suggestions and I try to get to them as quick as possible. So let's get back to your regular scheduled programming. So this is what we will be installing today. It's a home server ma management made easy. It's free and open source. It has 140 popular apps. So it has its own app store and uh, you can have a one click install. Um, so uh, you have SSL certificates for Let's Encrypt, it, easy update configuration. It just makes to where you don't have to work with Docker Compose, you can work with the UI. So that's what we'll be installing today for you so i'm gonna go into big bear scripts it will be down in the description so run tippy and then you'll install ubuntu and then you'll install run tippy right here i'm gonna go into the install.sh i'm gonna start with bin bash i'm gonna get the current ip so i'm gonna get the run tippy installation path with its opt run tippy Generate a path for log file. This is the log file where it'll be stored. And then I'm going to uh, echo out some comments right here. I'm going to install dependencies because I'm going to be using cur curl down there. So I need to do an apt update and then apt install curl. And then if it fails, just say, say it failed to install dependencies and echo that out into the log file. I'm going to come down here and install run tippy now. So I'm gonna check if run tippy, the installation path is out there, like that will be up here. The run tippy uh, path, it'll check if that's there. If it is, it will just say it's already installed. I'm gonna go ahead and check if Docker is installed before running this command, because if I didn't check that, it would error out if I ran a Docker a P a PS. So I'm gonna check if Docker's installed, then I'm gonna run Docker PS to check if the run tippy uh, container is running. If it is, I'll just echo out and say it's already running, and then I'll put it into the log file so people can figure out what happened. Now, CD into the run tippy directory. I will CD into the opt uh, directory, and then if I can't CD into it, I'll just say failed to, to change the opt directory. Ch check, check your per uh, permissions. So now I'm going to download the script from the setup.runtippy.io right here. If it fails to download the script, I'll just echo it out in the log file and say why. Now I'll say it's installing, please wait. I'll then execute the script. So I'll execute with bash. Then if it fails for any reason, I'll say failed to install runtippy in the log file. Now I'm going to do some cleanup. I'm going to get rid of the run tippy uh, underscore install.sh now. Then I'm going to go down here and I'm going to create the systemd service file. So uh, th this is a, ser a service file and it'll make sure run, run tippy comes back up if you restart your LXC for any reason. Then I'm going to restart the Damien. I'm going to enable the service file up here. Then I'm going to check the status of Tippy. Then I'm going to ha have some functions. And these are all functions, by the way. A and then I'm going to have a function to where it errors out the log file. And then it errors in uh, it put I put the info out in the log file. So now I'm going to run all these functions right, right here. So I'm going to install dependencies. I'm going to install run Tippy. I'm going to create the systemd service file right here. I'm going to reload the Damien. I'm going to enable the tippy service. Then I'm going to display the service. Then I'm going to say done. And I'm going to e echo out some uh, set setup finished. I'm going to show you the the URL, the installation path, the script, uh, all log path. So once we run this, 
it will just install run tippy the way i think it should be installed and um you can change this if you'd like and take it away and and make it your own but um this should be fine and if you do uh, see a reason why this uh isn't set up correctly please do a pull request i'm always open to pull requests and and making things better so that's the installation for run tippy so i'll get to installing it on a fresh lxc so i'm going to go into my big bear video assets and then i'm going to go to how to install run tippy on proxmox ubuntu then I'm going to install Ubuntu. I'm going to go over to my Proxmox now and get it installed. So I'm going to go to my node and I'm going to go to my shell and then I'm going to clear it out. I'm going to run the command on installing Ubuntu. I'm going to go OK, Advanced. Okay, now I'm going to go down here and press the space bar. I'm going to press the space bar and Jamie. I'm going to press the space bar and unprivileged. I'm going to skip the root password. I'm going to put a container ID of 500 in. I believe that's not taken. Okay, now I'm going to set a run tippy as the host name. I'm going to give it 30 gigabytes to work with. I'm going to give it two cores. I'm going to give it four gigabytes of RAM. Then I'm going to uh, return or enter, return or enter, return or enter. And then you can turn on verbose mode if you'd like. Um, you just go over with your arrow, your left arrow. I'm going to not turn that on right now. I'm going to say no. Then ready to create Ubuntu LXC and yes. So it's firing up over here, you can see. It's updating the container operating system. You can go ahead and um, and add a static IP to the MAC address of this LXC if you want to in your router. So it already has a dedicated IP for the run tippy. So it set my IP up, so I'll copy that. And I'm going to go over to the run tippy LXC that I just created and get run tippy installed. So now that we got uh, the LXC up, the Ubuntu installation, so we're gonna go on our Big Bear Video Assets. There will be a link down in the description. Um, so we've already installed Ubuntu, and now we're gonna run a Tippy right here. I did make a script, and I went over the script, so that's what we'll be installing. So I'm gonna copy it. Then I'm going to go over to my Proxmox, I'm going to go into my LXC, the one that we just created. I'm going to go into console, and then I'm going to paste it in, and I'm going to run it. So it's installing dependencies. It's installing run, run tippy now. So this may take a few minutes. So now we're going to see it step three in a few If you get any errors with this script, it'll be in the log file right here and just cat, cat it out. Okay, now it's done. It created the service file, everything like that, and displayed in status. It, it, uh, the setup is finished now. 
So we'll go to this IP address. I'm gonna copy it and we'll get to the run tippy installation right there and then run, run tippy install path. So it's opt run tippy and then install script a log that'll show you all what it done behind the scenes. So we're gonna go to this IP address now and get it installed. So I'm now I'm just putting the IP address inside of my browser. I'm gonna go to it and you're gonna register your account right here. So I'm gonna register my account you can put whatever email address you want in here. Okay, now I'm gonna put my password in. Okay, now I'm gonna say register. And we got it up and running. We can say display, CPU load, memory used. You can go over here and you can see the my apps once you install something. You can install things like AdGuard. You can go in here and install. You can see the base information. So you can go to settings. You can see it's up to date. You can restart. You can change the settings right here. You can change your password, two-factor authentication. So we got Tippy up and running. So that's how to get Tippy running on Ubuntu. So I just showed you step by step on how to get Run Tippy running on uh, a Ubuntu installation. I created my own script to where I finish out the install script of Run Tippy. Uh, so so I made it to where if you restart the LXC, it will come back up, and uh, I'll be right there and br br bring the Docker container back up and running. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need support. You can go down to Big Bear Community and join our Discord and stay tuned for more.